Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a quick tip on how I make my own stamp and die storage pockets. These are A5 page protectors and I have cut off the sides where the holes are to go into the ring binder. Um, I've, I don't have one that I haven't already prepared to show you, but what I wanted to say was that sometimes you can get a little bit of the white strip remain between um, the side here and the sealed edge and all I do is pick at that with my nail like this and it comes out and it's really easy to do um, it doesn't take very long at all I've heard some people say that they don't like to have cheap stamp storage pockets because they split and they end up having to replace them I've never had one of mine split that I can remember anyway and even if I did, they are so cheap to make, I really wouldn't care, I'd just make another one. And uh, as I said before, I use the same thing for my dies. Um, the only difference being that I put in some cardboards. This is just a cereal packet that I've painted black. You don't have to bother painting them black if you don't want to. And what that does is it gives a little bit of support to this um, storage pocket so that they'd um, don't kind of like fold over if they've got a large set of dies in them and also it stops them from sticking together when they're all next to each other like this in my um, storage box. So I'll show you how I um, label them. I made a decision not to use a label maker because I thought that it would cost a lot of money in tape because I had originally 200 to do at once and it was quite a pain to do when I first started and converted them all but now when I get a new stamp set it's so easy I make these pockets up ahead of time so I just slip one in, write the name and pin it up on my storage tower which I'll probably do a separate video on so yeah as you can see I just put the stamp set inside um, it fits quite a, di a lot of different size stamps I also made some that are um, used half and half so for example this storage pocket and oh it's the wrong way around this one is cut in the middle so you can have two smaller stamp sets in them and yeah so as I was saying I just write the name of the manufacturer the name of the stamp set and pop it inside and it's really that simple the only other thing I would say that I do differently is if I get a large stamp set I put it into a bigger stamp storage pocket or if I get the ones from magazines that are really small I just use this baseball card type pocket um, I got these from a local game shop and they're only like 25p each so I just slide my stamps inside of here I think that's probably all I have to share on this today. It's really quick, simple, easy, cost effective, and yeah, I hope it really helps. Happy crafting!